Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hi guys, before we start this video, this is about gardening, and so we're not experts. <laughs> the funny part about this whole thing is we came from the Northwest, and the seasons are totally different there, and so we're in Arizona now, so we're learning this as we go, just like you are getting on the videos uh, on YouTube and trying to learn how to plant stuff. So this video is going to consist of us building a above ground garden and a lot of work involved. And at the end is kind of interesting because we also trimmed a uh, agava americana um, cactus. Um, and so you may not have ever seen that done before. So at the end of this video we'll show you how we do that. So to add on to this before we get started again is it's going to be kind of a long video. It's about 19 minutes. Um, but if you're into gardening and like to know how some of this is done in Arizona, uh, stick with the video. Uh, we understand. So I hope you enjoy it and here we go. Well, hi guys, this is Rob and we're going to do something a little different in the backyard. We're going to start setting up a garden. Um, so I cheated and I got a kit. So let me show you what I got for a kit. And uh, you'll see in a minute here, I got this at Home Depot. So this kit, there's two of them, is uh, so we could put our garden right here. And so I've, I've started this out a little bit so you can kind of see how it goes together. And they're just uh, wedged in there and uh, pretty easy to put together. I'm just kind of doing a framing here a little bit to kind of center it here next to the pool. And if I uh, come this way a little bit, the center, there will be another one at the other side. That's what the other kit's for. The center one's going to be higher than the two sides. So we can do things with deeper roots um, in the center and then we can do little things like all broccoli or whatever thing we want to do on the sides and uh, uh, so what I'll do is I'm gonna put this together uh, it's a little warm in the afternoon here I know it's January <laughs> and uh, I'm actually late so but I'm happy to I, I want to get a garden going this year because Sherry and I eat a lot more vegetables now that we're kind of 80 20 vegan and so uh, kind of thrilled about that the other thing I was going to show you is we finally got the tomatoes started so <coughs> so I put them over here because I get some part-time shade because actually I've noticed too much sun it's kind of hard on this on the uh, tomatoes this year I'm doing some cherry tomatoes kind of medium tomatoes and some large all in the same pot so uh, I started late last year uh, like three months later and it was uh, uh, not as productive as it could be now that I started earlier so kind of tickled about that so when I'm done let's see over here you can see across there is uh, should be kind of cool we're looking forward to the garden so I'll show you more as we go hi guys so <laughs> we're starting to put the boards up in the backyard and I had to buy dirt and I bought a lot of dirt so here's the back of my truck. So I got like 12 bags of potting soil, six bags of uh, kind of uh, fertilizer kind of dirt, and three blocks of uh, what is it? Coconut fiber kind of stuff that you put in, and another little chemical of. Uh, it's unbelievable. Anyway, $350 later, I've got my dirt. So, this would be the most expensive garden I've ever had. <laughs> anyway, but hey, it's fun. So, just for quick generalization, before I even have a garden, I've got $100 in materials for the above ground uh, garden. And now I've got $350 in dirt and... I haven't even bought plants yet, so 
This would be like a $500 garden, I think, when I'm done, but it's still fun. So just bear with me. We'll see how it comes out. Okay, so we got all the frame together so you can kind of see what it looks like. And uh, we're going to scoop some of the gravel out of the center. And then uh, Sherry and I will start putting in all the material, all $350 worth. So, uh, yeah, should be pretty when we're done now. Okay. So our garden's coming along. What we're doing right now, taking the gravel out of the center and uh, leaving a little bit in. Leaving a little bit in there so you can see. And we use the bucket to haul it over there, right here. And then this is our uh, oh, this is what we got here. Well, of course, it's upside down. This is the coconut fiber stuff we're using in the help keep moisture in the <laughs> in our soil and then this is all the soils so lots of potting soil then we're going to use a uh, earthworm casting layer but as soon as we get the rocks out of here uh, then we're going to lay down some cardboard uh, it's good for helping to keep the weeds down and attracts worms so we're getting there. Okay, so we did make a quick executive decision and we moved it away from the house a little more. So we have some walking space through here so we can get to the plants that are going to flourish once we get it in here. So Sherry's just making sure that it's even across from the house. So, getting there. And next thing we're going to do is put cardboard in. Alright, so the cardboard is in. I know, it doesn't look pretty. But it doesn't have to be. Okay, for our first attempt here, we're going to put potting soil in for our first layer. So we're going to go with three bags per, four by four. We'll see where we sit. And then we'll tell you about the rest later. Looks like dirt. So our middle one's higher, so we're going to put five bags into that and have one extra bag and we'll see if we need to kind of share it with the other two. But yeah, we're getting there. For our next step, you see we got the dirt in all the, all those, is we're going to add this uh, coconut core. So this stuff we have to put into a bucket and add water. And then we're going to blend it also with our earthworm castings for the top layer and then uh sounds easy but it sounds like we got a lot of work so yeah we got three three of those for each one let's see how it goes i've never worked with this stuff before so we'll see So the coconut core expands a lot. So we took the first layer of it out of the bucket, started putting it in here for a layer here. And once again, once we get this in here, we're gonna add the uh, worm castings. So uh, that's just from that one block, it's amazing. So yeah, we're getting there. Just one more to go. Okay, all the coconut core has been added. Still catching my breath. Now we're gonna put worm castings on each bed, two bags each. Then we've got one more additive, and then we're gonna water it down and we're done. Then we gotta get plants. So, what I got? About $600 here. <laughs> I don't have plants yet. But anyway, we're getting there. So we're using Worm Grow, which is earthworm casting. And uh, we're going to pour it on top of the 
coconut core and then blend it a little bit. And we'll have nice fertilized dirt. And I got a dirty face, by the way. And I got a dirty face. <laughs> well, that's good, big. Ooh, that's dark. like charcoal. Glad we moved away from the house now. So now we're just blending the dirts together, the earthworm castings and the uh, coconut core, and we're flattening her out. And we got one more additive to put on it, then we'll water it down. Okay, the last thing we're going to use is uh, Asomate, which is a uh, trace mater uh, minerals to put on top of the uh, garden. So once we spread this on, then we're going to water it and work it into the soil. Sherry has blended everything and uh, just getting it all leveled out. And then uh, we'll put the white powder on there. and. Uh, water it down and then we're ready to plant. And we're also talking about putting a, they call a trellis uh, around this because we get a lot of sun and this is, this is no shade at all here. So we're going to create our own shade. And so that will be interesting. I think we're going to use PVC pipe, but we could change our minds. All right, we got our minerals on and uh, Last thing we're going to do is water it down and then we're going to put uh, some string on here to help with the planting. We're going to do square foot gardening I guess. So we're going to put strings across here so we can uh, keep track of what we planted. So we'll show you that too. I'm not in there. All right, so it's the next day, guys, and we bought some plants last night. And on the table here, we have some that are starters already. Uh, we have uh, head lettuce, and we have, uh, what do we have here? That's the zucchini. Zucchini. <laughs> and some peas, broccoli. broccoli, onions, strawberries, and we got some starters we're going to use here. And if you look up over on the table up here, we have a uh, seed starting kit. So what we're doing right now <laughs> is, is we're uh, doing uh, square foot gardening. So we're, we've uh, uh, measured off the garden with string and now we're planting right here. Uh, how we're going to plant our garden so not everything's done outside <laughs> so this is statistically kind of type of thing we're doing here to make sure we put enough plants within the square footage we have and be productive so uh, after this we'll probably start planting so yeah and we'll be putting seed pods in there we'll show you that too so Sherry's planned out our grid and she's great for that kind of stuff and here's what our grid looks like. So everything's squared off to uh, one by one square footage. And we uh, have a chart that tells us how many plants we can do per uh, square foot. And so this should be a <laughs> quite a productive little garden. It doesn't seem that big, but we can actually get a lot into it. So uh, our next step will be actually planting some stuff and in a handful of things we're going to start from seed and just remind you uh, this is 
the middle of January and in Phoenix you can start this early so yeah pretty cool Hey guys, so now we're coming outside to put the live plants in first. And so the first thing we're doing, let me switch around here, is kind of laying them in the areas that we decided to grid out and we'll uh, spread them out per our map. So we're going to follow this to the T. Well, we pretty much got everything planted. I also picked up a couple of strawberry hanging plants up here. And uh, coming out pretty good. And that's what the garden looks like. So now we just hope for things to grow. All right, so this is kind of a different project. I've got this nasty, nasty plant right here that is way too close to the pool and these things are very sharp right here and here and so we're going to cut off some of these at the base way down there and i have a special saw just to do that so that's our next project then we get back All right, we got that all cut up. Those things are nasty, super sharp. And uh, we wanted to make sure we had a good walking space on the pool here. And we're kind of worried about the grandson and the dog. So we're pretty happy to get that out of there. And uh, love this saw, man. <laughs> of course, once you start cutting in these things, there was all water. Mm -hmm. And it cut really easy, so yeah. So that's how you get a cactus. What do you call this plant? It's a Agave Americana. Agave Americana is what they call this plant. And uh, it's ruthless. <laughs> it's like a bunch of swords. But anyway, that's how we did it. Hey, I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something out of this. Just a couple more additions. We will be putting a little fencing in here that we ordered from Amazon. And then we're going to put a trellis over the top of our garden to be able to put a netting to produce shade when it gets hotter here right now we have beautiful weather but when it gets closer to summer we're going to start hitting 80 90 and 100 so it's going to be important we protect that so anyway thanks for watching the video we'll talk to you later bye hey thank you so much for watching outdoor travel channel and planting a garden in arizona 
please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We appreciate it. Have a great day. See you next time.